We begin our prayers this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, my friends in faith, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Ephraim the Syrian. Uh, he was a third century saint, a deacon, a theologian, and a poet. Today we are also asked by our bishop to spend this as a day of fasting and prayer for the end of racism. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our failings, our sins, and ask for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations together as one. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal every wound of sin and division. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Pour into our hearts, O Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, at whose prompting the deacon Saint Ephraim exulted in singing of your mysteries, and from whom he received the strength to serve you alone, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Hearing, excuse me, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called into one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good. But an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
From the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. It seems in our day with all the, the recent news that there's only bad fruit, that there's only evil in our country. And unfortunately, there is a lot of bad fruit in our country. We've seen far too many racist acts, far too many racist attacks, racist killings. But unfortunately, this is not new. This goes to the roots of honestly humanity and it goes back centuries and it's not going to go away anytime soon. But my friends, as people of faith, we don't lose hope. We don't see evil fruits in the world and give up, but we continue to grow in Christ. We turn to Christ and ask to heal ourselves, to grow in ourselves, to bear good fruit in the world. St. Ephraim speaks of this in one of his poems. He says, For it is in our Lord that the root of our faith is grafted. Though far off, he is still close to us in the fusion of love. Let the roots of our love be bound up in him. Let the full extent of his compassion be fused in us. O Lord, may the body be a temple for him who built it. May the soul be a palace full of praise for its architect. Let not our body become a hollow cavity. Let our souls not be a harbor of loss. And when the light of this temporal breath flickers out, do you relight in the morning the lantern that was extinguished in the night? The sun arrives, and with the warmth of its rising, it revives the frozen and relights what has been extinguished. My friends, we are deeply rooted in Christ. We always turn to Christ, to his goodness, to help us grow and to help us prune our bad, our bad behaviors so that we can become greater and holier people in this world and show the world that it has the potential of being great and holy as well. And trusting in our Lord, we bring our prayers and petitions this day. We pray for Pope Francis and all leaders of the church that they always strive to work in love and charity for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for civil leaders around the world that they always help to build up communities of peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for an end to racism in our world that all may be loved as they are. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all students, faculties, and staff at colleges who are preparing to return in the fall, especially in light of the COVID pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, for all those who care for them, that they may know the loving comfort of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. We pray for the souls of all those who have died this day, especially for those who have no one to pray for them, that they may know the loving peace of God forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Gracious and loving God, you have grafted us to yourself out of love. We offer you these prayers and petitions made in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God. God. Pray 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with the light of faith by which he constantly enlightened blessed Ephraim for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace as we are able. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God. God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of blessed Ephraim, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.